Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and sorry for doing this review so late because I woke up today at 3 in the afternoon and wasn't able to get to watch Korra or Young Justice since like I tell like 7. So anyway, just finished um Korra and then I finished Young Justice legit minutes before. But wow, which one should I start first? I guess I'll start with Young Justice because I just finished that one. Um, this episode just was so overwhelming. I'm so well. Uh, there was so much information about everything. You get to see the development of uh, Blue Beetle Jamie, which he is so cute. He is so adorable. He's so funny as well. Uh, but you get to know what happened to Roy, well, the clone Roy, and you get to see uh, what happened to Wally and Artemis. And at the end of the episode, there was a big kind of shocker. Which I thought that it will never happen since it's kind of a kids show, but I well, it, it did. But anyway, um, where should I start? I mean, you the thing. I guess this episode focused a lot of about um Superboy and Jamie's kind of like partnership as well as Roy and see well the clone Roy and where he had been for the last five years and. You get to see a little bit of Wally and Cheshire in the end. Um, there was also a kind of mystery thing about Sportsmaster and his partner, which is kind of interesting to see to see what's gonna happen there. But well, I just I just don't know. This is just so overwhelming. You, I mean, um, in the end, you see, of course, that a lot of fandom has prophesized that Wally and Artemis have left the league and just. Um, in co are in college, and that's what is happening. That um, Artemis and Wally is in college together, and yeah, it's really sweet and really heartwarming. But overall, I think this episode was pretty good. It revealed re revealed everything that I really have been like asking about, and and pretty cool. I guess I just. I don't know what to say. It was just really overwhelming. In the end, there was a big, big shocker, which I'll probably mention later. But um, today, like this episode's winner, I have to say the best character was Bali. Uh, well, Sphere. I call him. I call her Bali. But it's Sphere, cause she kicked ass. She kicked major ass. I'm not even kidding. Like um, with the Sonic stuff and everything, and yeah, just kicked ass. Um, I still. I mean. The relationship between McGann and Lagoon Boy is just seems so forced, like every other Young Justice relationship in the beginning. They just sound, they just look really forced. Um, of course, when you see Black Canary kicking ass as well, that was great. You see, all all his relationship with um Roy, it just it is really heartbreaking, and. And to see Clone Roy so passionate and so caring about finding Speedy, it just, oh my god, I, that guy is just so precious. I just really want to help him. Um, I guess to now to the, I, it just, there isn't really much to say. I like how they show, the team show, well, the creators, um, introduce, like more character development for the new character such as Jamie, um, but also as well providing information about the old teammates. So that was really nicely done. I guess she was big shocker and and which was I guess um I don't know I just didn't expect it so soon. Um, uh, well apparently um Roy well the Colonel and Cheshire are legally married and uh. Treasure has the kid. Yes, Liam is in the show, even though it's like a tiny little baby, but then they put it in the last second of the show. But really, Liam is happening. So yeah, uh, that was fairly surprising since this is a kind of a kids show, but I guess it doesn't matter. So that's basically the review for Young Justice. See you guys next week.